Time now for the final vlog of 2019. By the way, if you always want to check out previous vlogs that I've done, feel free and check out the vlogs playlist over on my vlogs channel. Throughout the years, I've kind of done some things with that channel. First, I did some really short, funny machinima videos a while back when the Rockstar Editor first came out. And then I started doing vlogs primarily. For a while, I experimented with doing like TV movie reviews. And I may actually start doing some of that over on the uh, other channel, Burns Report. That's kind of like my Viva Variety channel now. Originally, that was my first channel, part of the uh, fleet, I guess. That channel's over 10 years old. Started off as political. Now it's more like kind of political, kind of newsy, kind of Viva Variety. And then some of you know about the gaming channel. Yeah, of course. By the way, if you have a future vlog suggestion that I've yet to do, obviously check the playlist first because I've done a few, feel free and leave your vlog suggestions below in the comment section. You can also DM me via Twitter, see Facebook, yes, the Facebook page, as well as our Discord community. You can DM me there too if the vlog suggestion happens to be something that you really want to be you know, anonymous. You don't want people to know it was you that made the suggestion. But if you don't have a problem with uh, it being you, if you getting credit for the suggestion, then feel free and just you know send it to me publicly below in the comment section, or at me at Twitter, or just you know post it below this video on uh, the Facebook page. You can do the same thing on Twitter as well, by the way. All right, so 2019 is almost over. The end of a decade, not just a year, 2020. Is coming up, and I think this may become an annual thing. Maybe this time next year or next decade. <laughs> I know it's a joke. I may uh, do a, a 2020 video vlog. You know, looking back at the the future year. Hopefully, 2020 will be better than 2019. So we've had some things happen this year. I'm not going to go over every single thing that happened. And if you don't have a vlog suggestion. You are welcome to let me know below in the comment section some things that you liked about 2019, some things that you didn't like. Was there any personal milestones or accomplishments that you had this year? Feel free to let me know. I always like to see what you guys are up to. And I do really thank all of you that support the vlogs channel. I know it's my smallest channel, and the majority of people that subscribe to the gaming channel Obviously, probably not really interested in this sort of thing, but I still promote it on the community tab anyways, just in case, you know, some people may be coming across it for the first time. And if you're new to my vlog channel, like I said, you're welcome to check back and look at all the previous vlogs, because I've done quite a few. So, 2019 to me was kind of, I, I would say, 50-50. It wasn't a bad year for me personally. It wasn't a great year, but it wasn't bad. I could start off with the positives, and maybe that's the best thing to do, especially when we look forward, trying to be positive. Let's see, my channel reached uh, the gaming channel, not this channel, but the gaming channel, which is, I guess you could say, the flagship of all my channels, reached 10,000 subscribers, so that's a major accomplishment. I think we're also about to reach uh, 3 million lifetime views over there, and over the past week or two, I've had a, a freaking influx of new viewers and subscribers. Uh, courtesy of you know my Red Dead content, so it's nice to see new faces, and hopefully a lot of them will stick around and subscribe and continue to watch the live streams and uh, future videos that I make over there on the gaming channel. So that's great, because I've been spending the past five plus years growing that channel slowly but surely on YouTube. Started off with Grand Theft Auto Online, obviously I still play Grand Theft Auto Online here or there, but in all fairness, this game is over six years old. But I haven't completely abandoned it because I'm still making content for Grand Theft Auto Online. I do the Event Week videos over there. And whenever there's a new update or there's something really interesting that comes out in Grand Theft Auto Online that entices me enough, I'll, I'll live stream it. It's just that my channel has shifted over the years. And that's one thing that is amazing to me is like I didn't realize when I first started that channel like where it would be five years later. Because I, I started off Grand Theft Auto Online because... As someone with a radio background and also a previous YouTube channel, along with being a lifelong gamer, you know, specifically Grand Theft Auto. I've been playing Grand Theft Auto since the very beginning, the top-down version on the original PlayStation when I was a kid, along with some of my friends. We would take turns playing and unleashing mayhem in the original GTA. 
So I, I thought it'd be a cool idea to uh, start a gaming channel. Plus, I was getting kind of burnt out politics around 2014 anyways. Eh, politics. Blech. That's always bad. It's like every year politics is bad, no matter what. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, it started off with ideas, right? Because I had these ideas for Grand Theft Auto Online. And I, originally, I would keep sending the ideas to Rockstar via email. And I thought, you know what? Chances are no one's reading these emails, so I might as well just turn these ideas into videos. And I'm still doing the same thing with Reddit Online now. So, <laughs> not much has changed. I guess I'm just an idea machine. It's just the problem is, the reason why I've never bothered, like, actually trying to write a book. Actually, I have. That's a lie. I have tried to write books. I have tried to write uh, screenplays. It just feels like most of the time when I start, when I have an idea and I start to brainstorm it a little bit, you know, characters, plot, and whatnot, I go do more research, and sure enough, something very, very similar has already been done, and it kind of discourages me, so if I was meant to be a writer or a, uh, like a, whether it's books or TV shows or movies, because I'm always critical of a lot of TV shows. Uh, plots, tropes, uh, contrived nonsense, uh, cliches, all these freaking twists that you see a mile coming. So maybe I should have been a writer, right? <laughs> but I, I guess I kind of got discouraged from the fact that there's always so much content out there when it comes to uh, writers, whether it's on TV shows, movies, or novelists. I just never got around to doing it. But I don't know. I mean, I guess as long as I'm still around, I could always try again but I feel like I'm taking my creative juices and I'm putting them towards something at the very least through the uh, gaming channel so I'm happy about that but at the same time 2019 has been definitely a turning point I believe for my channel and 2018 you know Red Dead Redemption 2 had just come out in uh, late October at that point it was still basically 50-50 when it came to uh, Red Dead Online and Grand Theft Auto Online. Well, Red Dead Online didn't come along until late November. I would say Red Dead Redemption 2 and Red and Grand Theft Auto Online. But once Red Dead Online Beta came out in uh, late November 2018, then I started shifting more to Red Dead Online coverage. And slowly but surely, the gaming channel leading into 2019 started becoming more, f more about Red Dead than Grand Theft Auto. And once again, I mean, it's just a natural evolution of things. I mean, there was only two updates to Grand Theft Auto in 2019, and they were both revolved around the casino. And that's one of the new things you know, regarding 2019, gaming-wise, is the fact that they finally added the casino. I mean, the casino was technically already in Grand Theft Auto Online, but they repurposed the casino. They rebuilt it. They actually made it a functional property, and... You know, they added slot machines, they added a you know, three-card poker table, blackjack, they added some casino missions, and then most recently, uh, one of the best uh, heists that they've added to Grand Theft Auto Online, the casino heist, all that was added this year. So 2019, you know, was all about the casino life in Grand Theft Auto Online. And I've been really enjoying the uh, casino missions. Well, I mean, not the, the missions were meh. I'm talking about the casino heist itself. That was fun. Even though I've been kind of taking a break from it right now because I've been over on Grant Red Dead Online trying to uh, rank up my characters. Because another thing that happened in 2019, Red Dead Redemption 2 made it over to PC and Stadia. Yay, Stadia. <laughs> so I uh, also went back and I replayed Red Dead Redemption 2, this time on PC. Now, when Red Dead Redemption 2 came out last year for PlayStation 4 and Xbox One, I, I played through first Red Dead Redemption 1 again leading up to the release of Red Dead Redemption 2. And then after that, I streamed uh, Red Dead Redemption 2 on my PS4 Pro, which is what I'm on right now, from start to finish. And then I did it again uh, recently, just wrapping it up a week ago on uh, PC. So yeah, it was a emotional roller coaster going, going through uh, Red Dead Redemption 2 once more. And I definitely think it's going to be a while before I decide to... Uh, Go hang out with Arthur Morgan and the Vanderlyn gang. It's going to be a while. But hey, now now we have mods in uh, Red Dead Redemption 2 PC and probably in Red Dead Online PC as well. So it's triple dipping now. So I go from like two Red Dead Online characters. I have a lot of characters. I have uh, Grand Theft Auto Online. You know, Wolfstein is who I have right now. And uh, Grand Theft Auto Online on PS4. 
My original Grand Theft Auto Online character, Janine, which I've had since the 360, you know, she's on the Xbox One along with her quote unquote sister, Cynthia, because in Grand Theft Auto Online you can have two characters, and then Claudette, my Grand Theft Auto Online PC character, and then Red Dead Online, I have three characters now. Wolfus, I guess you could say the great great grandpappy of Wolfstein for Red Dead Online PS4. Then I guess uh, Janine's great 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 grandma, uh, Paula Janine. By the way, Paula's obviously named after my mom. Because after I made her, uh, I came to realize that Janine, I called her Janine at first, because I've named a lot of my characters Janine in honor of my you know, original Grand Theft Auto Online character. To very, I, you know, various spins on the name. But I realized that she looked very similar to my mom. And I, I, I pulled up a photo of my mom and I'm like, wait a minute. How did this? And I didn't do it intentionally, by the way. She just happened to look like my mom. So I, I decided to change her name to Paula Janine. And then most recently, because I'm a huge Back to the Future fan, I decided to name my PC uh, Reddit online character Emmett McFly. You know, because Emmett is Doc Brown's first name. McFly is obviously Marty's last name. So it's like Marty's grandchild, I guess, you know, who's been named in honor of Emmett, McBre Emmett McFly. I mean, Emmett, <laughs> Emmett McFly is a PC Red Dead Online character. I don't know where we're going with this, but the point is over the you know the past year. Yeah, I've, I've really enjoyed you know meeting all my new viewers, subscribers, fans, along with continuing uh, the friendships that have been made with uh, veteran viewers and subscribers and the members... And even, you know, some uh, of the older subscribers have kind of come back, uh, Adam and uh, Phoenix, who have come back off and on, you know, but they were they were part of the, the original, like, guard, I guess, back in the day when my channel had, like, maybe 100 subscribers at the most when they, they found me over five years ago. So it is amazing how far I've come over the past five years. I know there's channels that have managed to grow a lot faster in a lot shorter period of time. But at the same time, I always humble myself. I always try to keep myself grounded and work on improving my driving skills by reminding myself how far I've come and where I started. And so many times people come to me and they're like, GB, how, did, how do I get as big as you? How do I get as successful? I'm like, I mean, I don't really consider myself to be successful. <laughs> I'm just lucky to have what I have, you know, and it, it took a lot of work. It took a lot of dedication just to get where I'm at right now. And trying to be honest and and be real you know i didn't try any of the the tactics the click baiting all that other nonsense that other content creators use to grow but you know i just tried to remain true to myself <clears throat> it's been a slow grow but it's quality over quantity and that's the way I, I look at my viewers and my subscribers and fans where they generally hopefully maybe i'm giving myself too much credit here but maybe they actually subscribe to me because I, I try to be real. I try to be legit. I try to be 100% honest most of the time, unless I just don't want to hurt somebody's feelings, and I'll kind of give them a little white lie here or there. But we all do that to some degree. But I've always tried to be as honest of a person as I can be. And if I don't have something nice to say, most of the time I'll just bite my tongue. As the old saying goes, if you... Don't have anything nice to say? Well, don't say anything at all. And I agree with that. But sometimes, if, if it's a bad day, then, yeah, sometimes it just comes out. <laughs> it does happen. But, yeah, 2019 has been an interesting year. I mean, if, if we put aside the political nonsense, the global nonsense, yeah, <laughs> that's always something. I would like nothing more than 2020 to be a new age. I, I know it won't happen overnight. But maybe we'll have a better decade ahead because this past decade, looking back, has been a lot of remakes, a lot of redos, a lot of nostalgia and member berries. And some of it was okay. A lot of it just felt like whoever's behind the creativity in uh, Hollywood or fashion or whatever, a lot of them just have run out of ideas. Now, there have been a lot of new stuff that has come out. 
So there has been, but there's also been a lot of, you know, like I said, remakes, a lot of soft reboots, like a Star Wars sequel trilogy. I have yet to go watch Rise of Skywalker, but uh, probably will wait till I watch it by some other means. Mandalorian was really good, though. So I feel like Mandalorian might be symbolic of the direction that Star Wars will go. Because that, that's the direction Star Wars needs to go. And those that were in charge of the sequel trilogy... They need to go away from Star Wars. But, yeah, that, that was a disappointment to see such a end to a saga that meant a lot to me, you know, as a Star Wars fan. But at the end of the day, we get passionate about movies. We get passionate about TV shows and comics and books and video games. But all these are just uh, escapisms. They're just fun, you know. And I think that there should be more to life than just all this, right? There should be more. And I would like to see all of us try to better ourselves. And that's something I'm always struggling with, trying to better myself. You're losing weight, trying to eat healthier. And it always feels like a struggle at times. And especially during the holiday season. You know, you got uh, in America, we have Thanksgiving, we have Christmas, well, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa. Whatever you happen to celebrate, and the new year as well, all that happening around the same time. And so it's very easy for people just to cut loose and just goof off and kind of let their uh, diet slack and not walk as much as they should. And even though I do still hit the gym two or three days a week, you know, it still has been quite interesting the past month, the final month of 2019. But when it comes to the gaming channel, you know, it's been really good. Now, I did bring back uh, the, uh, like I said, I brought back the political channel again. And my original intention was to try and make it about politics, but I quickly started becoming burnt out with politics again. And I don't even know what to do with that channel. I, it is over 10 years old now, and I keep trying to reboot it. But <laughs> I don't know. And then I even brought back my dad's uh, Cannabis Corner channel, my dad, which I helped him start years ago because he was a huge uh, legalization activist when he was alive. And I just thought, you know what, I have my political channel and maybe you should have your own platform. And I, I helped him grow that. And uh, sadly, you know, my dad did pass, as most of you know, that are regulars when it comes to the vlog series. My dad did pass away from cancer over three years ago. My mom passed away from liver failure um, back in 1982 when I was just a baby. So I'm kind of dating myself age-wise. I'm old. <laughs> and this is also the last time I'll be in my 30s. You know, my, my birthday was just a week or so ago. And that's kind of strange because I don't feel like I'm nearing the end of my 30s. But at the same time, there's part of me that does feel old. It's weird, you know, because a lot of people look at me and, and they're surprised that I'm in my late 30s. They're like, you don't look like you're in your late 30s. I don't know if they're just being nice to me. Like some say that I'm either in my late 20s or early 30s. But I do, like I said, I do try to take care of myself. I, I stopped drinking over a year ago because like I have a, that hereditary condition my mom had. So I, I try to take care of myself. I try to eat better. I don't always succeed in that capacity, just like I don't always succeed at driving in Grand Theft Auto Online, obviously. But going into 2020, I'm, I'm hoping to get back at it, you know, continue to work out in the gym. And that's something I, that I have to be proud of, is the fact that I've stuck with the gym, for better or worse, over the past three years. And I have a great trainer, and, you know, I, I know John's probably not watching, but John, you're a good kid. He is a good kid. So I'm very proud of him. And uh, he's been a good trainer for me for the past three years. And it's not the trainer that's failed, it's it's the trainee. And uh, speaking of that, I have to go, sorry, sorry. <laughs> My alarm just went off. I have to go to the gym in like 30 minutes. So I got to get this wrapped up really quick <laughs> at the time of recording my video. But yeah, I know. 2019 was kind of... Kind of iffy. I'm trying to think of anything else that happened. Oh, yeah, my baby sister. Okay, my baby sister, who I remember when she was a baby. By the way, I'm proud of all my sisters, all my, all three of my sisters. My dad did remarry after my mom passed away, by the way. 
So that's why I have sisters. And uh, I'm proud of all of them. And my, my baby sister is about to become a mom. That's crazy. Absolutely crazy. You know, she's going to have, a, she and her husband are going to have a son sometime late March, early April. Hopefully not April 1st. <laughs> or the joke's going to be on that poor kid for the rest of his days. <laughs> but it's just crazy, though, to think about that. Because, I mean, I was young whenever she was born, but I was young enough. I wasn't too young. I mean, I, I remember, you know, when she was a still a little baby. And now she's about to have a baby. And then, like, while they were in town, she and her husband, you know, visiting for the family uh, Christmas party a few weeks ago. Yeah, I was kind of in this situation where at the Christmas party there was a whole bunch of kids. Like, because a lot of my uh, cousins have had cousins now. You know, they've had kids. So I guess they're my second, third cousins. I don't know. But uh, when a whole bunch of kids get together, they get very rowdy. And makes me want to go somewhere else. I'm like, oh, yeah, I think I'll just go over here. But other than that, the family Christmas party went okay. Uh, the only one that really, well, there was a few that didn't show up. But the main one that wasn't there was grandma. My grandma's like in her 90s. My dad's mom. And uh, the next day we actually went to her house. My sister, her husband, and me. And uh, yeah, she's not doing so well. She has... A lot of health problems right now and you know it's probably reaching the end for her but she's had a, an amazing life you know she grew up catholic so she has i had like a dozen aunts and uncles a whole bunch of cousins and she's loved by a lot of people and a lot of us wouldn't be here if it wasn't for her so you know that's just the way it goes so i do appreciate my grandma i also appreciate my papa on my mom's side my papa's still alive i was able to go visit him for his birthday in october and he's also in his 90s, and he's still doing quite well. My grandfather, I don't know what it is about him, but, you know, sadly my granny, you know, his wife passed away back in 2003, but he managed to remarry, and they've been together for, like, what, over 15, 16 years now? And they, I think they just had their wedding anniversary, and basically, you know, he, he was able to start a new life. And no, she's not a trophy wife. You know, she was only a little bit younger than him, so they both were widows, and they both knew each other previously, and it's worked out for both of them, so I'm, I'm really happy with them, you know, and I'm glad that he's able to still be with us. I don't see him as much as I should, just like I shouldn't, I don't see my sisters as much as I need to, but I also have my, pat, my pets to consider and other responsibilities, and you know, it's not always easy to get away, you know, so I have to take care of my cats, I have to take care of my dog. And my oldest cat, Jadis, you know, I've had her since she was just a little poofball. She was actually originally my other sister's cat when she lived with me for like a year when she was going to college. But, ah, I knew that was about to happen. That was your fault. Red means go. <laughs> no, it doesn't. <laughs> Lies. But, yeah. My sister at the time, she's way better now. But at the time, you know, she was in her late teens, just graduated from high school. She had a habit of leaving uh, pets with her parents. She left one of her mom. And then she left another pet of my dad. And then she begged me to get her a cat, even though I already had a cat. I told her she could just have my cat. Of course, I, I was joking about that. Sadly, he's gone, too. He passed away in 2012. Damn, time flies. But ever since 2007, I've been stuck with a, a white poof ball. And she's about the same age as uh, my other cat, Bandit, when he passed away at 12 years old. And she's also 12. And I, you can tell. Like, if you, if you ever owned a cat or a dog or any pet, you can tell when they're probably reaching their final days or their final year. And I, I do fear that by this time next year, I, I fear she's probably going to be gone. I mean, I, I hope not, but it just feels that way, you know? But you try to make the most of it. You appreciate the time you have left, whether it's, you know, with a pet or a family member or a loved one. You appreciate the time you do have. You hope for the best. And always be grateful for, for what you had, you know? I mean, there's always bad things that happen in our lives. There's also good things that transpire as well. And I could say the same thing for 2019. You know, there were definitely good things that happened this year. There was a lot of bad stuff too. Same thing will probably happen in 2020. You just hope that maybe overall 2020 will be heading us in a better direction 
than 2019, and maybe the next decade will be better. Maybe we'll have a new Roaring Twenties. You know, maybe they'll bring back uh, new jazz, and you know, people start dressing better and start being nicer to each other. I don't know. World peace? Yes, I know it's probably not going to happen, but I'm a dreamer. Okay, I'm a dreamer, and I can hope that maybe things will be better in 2020.